welcome back to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you're watching me in black and white. And if the thumbnail, the title and the description haven't given you the clue, Long-term viewers will know that means this is the latest instalment in my photo inspiration collaboration series, which could I have chosen longer words to put together for my series? Could I? Probably. However, you're watching me in black and white. I really don't know how this lipstick's going to look in black and white, but uh, hint, it's quite bright. Now, today I am delighted to be collabing with a new person to my channel. She is a long time subscriber in the 4F family and I have been a long term subscriber of hers. She is one of the sweetest, kindest people on this platform. I don't think I've ever seen her put a negative comment on anything, and I mean that. Never on anything have I seen her put even a slightly negative comment. And this lady is the ever so beautiful Nona from hashtag my so called life 1977. So, this woman is beautiful, inside and out. But is the photo that I've chosen beautiful? What colours are in it? How does this look in glorious Technicolor? What look has Nona created? All of these questions can be answered. Well, apart from the Nona one, you're going to have to watch her film for that. But watch mine first, please. Mm -hmm. All of those questions will be answered in this film. So sit down, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, settle back. Here we go. Hey, welcome back from the intro. It is ridiculously early. Like seriously, not even, not even seven o'clock in the morning early. But when Hobbs does something early and you've been up since quarter to five, I feel like I should be doing something. Also, kind of takes my mind off the pain. Now, hopefully the intro will have been in black and white. I am going to forget one of these days, I know I'm going to. Um, but it is a continuation of my photo collaboration, photo inspiration collaboration series of too many words. Uh, but I am absolutely delighted that I have somebody new that I am collabing with on my channel today. And it is the beautiful Nona from hashtag my so called life 1977. Now, you'll probably see from that that she puts for all to mock and enjoy. Darling, no, 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 not to mock, enjoy, yes, no mock. No, 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 no. She is absolutely a member of the 4F family. Fair, 40 plus, fat, and fabulous. And don't you let anybody tell you any different, girly. You hear me? You hear me? Um, she's followed me for quite a while now, to be honest. Uh, and I have followed her for an equal length of time. She always puts such lovely supportive comments on everyone's films. She is the sweetest, kindest, most good-natured person. Um, because I'm guessing she gets her fair share of insults, just like I do, because I'm not stick-thin and 20 years old and everything firm and where it should be. Um, but she is experimenting with colours and... I absolutely love seeing it. I mean, she did a gorgeous look the other day with um, blue eyes and like a metallic -y brown lip, and that just looked amazing on her. Um, thankfully, she actually asked me to collab, which was awesome. I love when people do that. 
I'm still a little bit nervous about reaching out to people going, hi, you probably don't have a clue who I am. But because there have been a couple of people that, because I've watched them for so long and comment regularly on their stuff, I think, oh, they must know who I am. And then you comment on one of their things about, oh, you know, you know I'd love to collab with you. And they're like, mm, yeah, thanks, but I don't know who you are. You're like, oh. See, I forget, when I'm, I'm still such a small channel, I forget that when you've got thousands and thousands and thousands, you probably don't know every person that comments. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> However, uh, Nona uh, approached me. She, she put a comment on one of my previous ones saying how much she enjoys the photo inspiration series and said please keep doing it and I'm like look so long as people want to collab with me I'll keep doing it and she's like okay I will and I'm like oh my god that's amazing that's fantastic so as always I give people the choice do you want to choose the first photo or shall I and so far everyone's gone huh you go first so the photo that I've chosen is one that when you initially look at it you think there's only two colours what are you talking about I'll put it up here it's this sort of frozen tundra sunsetty type, possibly sunrisey thing. I'm not sure, but when you look at it closely, you've got so many shades of blue, from sort of like a pure white, all the way through to a blue that looks so deep it's almost black. Um, and then the sky above it, you've got yellow you've got orange and if you look across on the right hand side just above the water there's almost like a, a corally pink section it just which i assume is the the light reflecting off of snow so it just there's just something about this picture that really called to me and because nona has such a sunny personality i figured it would be perfect for us so, um, I'm going to start zooming you in. I'm going to be using three palettes today. I'm going to be using my Zodiac Love Signs that Hubster bought me for Valentine's Day, my Slush September Rose uh, palette. My discount still works on this, uh, all caps, bomber, 10% off a £10 or overspend. Um, Slush 2 was meant to have been out by now, but she's had some production issues, um, so it's been delayed a bit, but this one is still available and is beautiful. And Certify Finity 2, because it's new and I'm still enjoying playing with it. <laughs> right, let's get you zoomed in while I go through a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, my channel is aimed at all skill levels. Uh, from absolute beginners right the way through to complete experts. I'm not claiming to be an expert, far from it. However, I do go through things slower than most people and my chronic pain means there are times I do have to stop and just chat to you for a bit because I'm in so much pain, nothing's going to happen otherwise. Um, if I'm going too slowly for you, now I, I don't always talk you through every step with it, with the photo inspiration, but there are times I forget myself and flip straight back into tutorial mode. Um, if I am going too slowly for you, there is a speed widget, it's either up here or down there, depending on what you're watching me on. I don't believe it works if you stream to your TV though. Uh, but feel free to speed me up. I won't be offended. I will be offended if you complain about how long my video is when I say this at the start of every video. Now, face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. And on my lids I have got MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which I have not set. But it has been on there probably about 10 minutes now, so it's... It's just tacky, it's not as sticky as it was when you first put it on. Okay, so I'm going to go with my Luxie Tapered Blending Brush. And going in to Affinity 2, because just look at these blues. Look, 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 look. Aren't they stunning? Including a blue that's almost black. Hmm. So, I have the picture in front of me here. And I think I'm going to start off with... Nawab or Norwab. So, 
picking that up on the brush, as you can see. Just going to tap any excess off. And I'm just going to buff this through my crease line. Now, I've got deep set eyes rather than hooded eyes. If you've got hooded eyes, you can follow this tutorial. Just with your eye open and a, a pencil brush, just sketch where you need your crease to fall. And then use slightly smaller brushes when you're applying it. Um, but where I've got deep set eyes, I do struggle with um, shimmers transferring up onto the lid, etc. So I do try and make my tutorials hooded lid friendly so that everybody can follow along. I do go into more detail on the shape of um, hooded lids and how to tell if it's hooded or deep set in my tutorials. So any one of those will, will tell you. But for photo inspiration, I try more to concentrate on recreating the picture and chatting about the person I'm collabing with. If you've not watched one of my photo inspiration series before, the um, the idea came to me a while ago when I was watching. Um, I think oh, who am I watching? I think I was watching Paulina debut her palette with blush tripe, which I have got. Ooh, if you did, if you missed out on that first time round. Message Blush Tribe that you want it back because she is considering bringing it back if she has enough requests. Um, so I think that's awesome because I do believe it's a palette that everybody should own because it is stunning. It really is. Um, and when she was doing her first look with it, I thought, mm. see now if I was doing my first look, I wouldn't do it quite like that. I'd do blah, 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 blah. And, and it suddenly made me realise that I do that with a lot of films that I watch, I think. Okay, well that's the colours you've gone for from that palette, but i choose this one or that one. I'm just going to zoom back out a little bit, just so I can see both eyes together. There we go. I always sit back and check because obviously your eyes are not symmetrical, unless you're James Charles and you photoshop them. Honestly, that boy. Um, so I do just sit back and just check that they match in terms of shape, because obviously one of them is slightly different shape to the other. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, oh, how I got around to this. Uh, I'm going to go in with Hussein next on the same brush. Um, and it just, I, I suddenly realised that because a lot of the, especially the bigger beauty channels, all tend to do these, you know, if, if they've got a palette with browns and oranges in. They're going to go for the browns and oranges regardless of what else is in the palette. Whereas for me, brown is usually the last of the colours that I look at. Um, you know, I like colour. I like... I don't mind doing brown smoky eye every so often. But I like colour. I like brightness. I like... I make up to be cheerful, you know, and not look like everybody else's. You can see I'm doing the same thing with this, I'm just not taking it up as high. <clears throat> I like to leave usually about sort of four or five mils between my brow and whatever colour I'm putting on. And I'm holding the brush right at the end, so I'm putting as little pressure on my eyes as possible. Um, yeah, so it's sort of made me realise that, you know, we've got the same palette, we've got the same colours to be inspired from and by. And yet, everybody will choose, if they only had to do one look from a palette, everyone chooses something different. And that intrigued me, so I thought, well, if you've got um, a photo, because, I mean, I was thinking about, you know, something like palette bingo, but with that you can add colours in. Um, to make it more workable if you do get something that's a bit, you know, off kilter. But I thought, if I take photos of, you know, natural things like scenery, space, flowers, whatever, um, and use that as inspiration, um, 
how would that work and I sort of I played around a bit myself using five times to sort of see how it would look and I decided yeah do you know what I really like this idea but I'd love to do it as a collab so that we both use the same picture as our inspiration we can only use colours in the picture you don't have to use all of them but you can only use colours that are in the picture I was just cleaning that brush off um, and um, you don't know what the other person looks like until you both launch and go live at the same time which I thought was quite an interesting concept so I mean literally you can only use the colours that are in that photo you can't add anything in you can't add anything to help if you're a little bit intimidated by the colours um, and so far every single collab that I've done the looks have been different even though we've been inspired by exactly the same photo and I love that because it shows how two people looking at the same photo are pulled to different colours, different aspects in the photo. Um, and I really love that. I, I just, I love that concept. Thankfully, a lot of my gorgeous YouTube friends also seem to be liking that concept. Because not only do they want to collab with me once, but some of them are coming back and doing a round two where they choose the photo. And indeed, I've even got rounds three and four lined up. Right, I'm going in with this Morphe M562 brush. It is clean, it's just slightly stained, it needs to be it needs to have its deep clean, but there's no there's no sort of green pigment coming off of it as you can see. Now I'm going to go into Jazz, which is the blue that's almost black. I'm going to use that to really deepen up the outer edges here through the crease. Now obviously if you've had to move your crease up by adding a dark colour along the crease line that you've created you will create the illusion that that line is going backwards because anything dark recedes backwards so this will help give you the illusion on your lid that it's receding back. So yeah um, that was how that's how the whole series came about <clears throat> and uh, as I said Nona was always putting such lovely comments on well, pretty much all of my videos to be honest but especially the photo collabs she was really enjoying watching those she was going across and the people that I was collabing with she was putting really lovely comments on their um, films as well she's just such a wonderfully supportive the woman is beautiful inside and out basically um, I'm really fortunate that the um, the friends that I've made through YouTube really are genuine individuals they're people that in real life I would like to meet and like to chat and go to the pub with and have a bit of a chin wag over well, I'm driving so probably Red Bull for me. Um, going with my um, Royal and Lang Nickel Chic Pro eyeshadow brush into that same colour because where that was a loose packed brush I'm getting a little bit of um, patching there so I'm just going to use a slightly thicker brush just to get that nicely blended together. I do struggle here and here because of creasing anyway so if you find the same issue just tap the pigment into place rather than swirling it and that will normally fix the issue as you can see like so. And I wanted it to come out and be thicker at this end and almost come out to, to mimic a winged liner without having to 
use an eyeliner because my hay fever at the moment is it's real folks it's 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 letting me know it's there but yeah so Nona is American um, and she's just I mean she has the sunniest of personalities she really does and I just absolutely adore the woman basically she does a lot of um, like Dollar Tree make it yourselfs. She did a whole like a um, makeup caddy thing that she did for herself. Uh, and oh, she's just so skilled. I mean, I would never have the patience to do some of the stuff that she's done. I tell you. So I'm just using this smaller brush to kind of get the shaping that I want. And I'm going to go back in with my wooden lead nickel to um, deepen it all up. Again, this is where I sit back and make sure that I'm getting the same kind of shaping this side as I am this side. It's looking a little Amy Winehouse. I quite like it. See, a lot of people, when they come into this, they'll study the photo and, and they'll sit down and they'll decide exactly what they want to do. Whereas, I'll look at the photo and think, okay, that's the colours on it, and I start thinking about, you know, which palettes I could use for it. But then I don't really think anymore about the look that I'm going to create until I sit down. You know, I mean, the temptation would have been to do the orange at the top, and then the blue at the bottom, because of the, the way the photo is... Um, you know, framed and but I just I, I really wanted to do something a bit different so I thought, well do you know what, let's reverse it let's put blue at the top and then the orange at the bottom I think I need to make this side a little bit deeper and a little bit more oomph. Yeah, that's looking better. I really love this Affinity 2 palette, by the way. Absolutely adore it. So, you know, expect to see it crop up probably quite regularly, to be honest. Yes, I like that. Right, let's put the Affinity 2 down for a minute. And now I'm going to do some fun bits on the lid. Not that this wasn't fun, obviously. Um, I'm just using a microfiber cloth to clean the brushes off with. I actually prefer that to using a colour switch now. Um, although I do keep my colour switch here because I just tap off into it, it helps keep things tidy. Right, I'm going into the slush palette, which is a dropping it. Clearly going to be one of those days, and I'm going to go into, I think, Tropical Fruit, which is this shade here. And I'm going to go in... I think I might use one of my acrylic brushes. These are the, um, the brushes that I bought. I bought a set of about like five or six of them. And they're designed for using acrylic when you're doing nail art, but they come down super, super thin like that, and I love that. And I'm going to be wetting the pigment. Now obviously, never go in with a wet brush into a pressed pigment. Pick the pigment up on the brush, wet the brush, then apply it. If you need to go back in, dry the brush off before you do. So, I'm going to go and pick up some of this a Tropical Fruit. 
I'm really intrigued to see what Nona does with this. I think the ones with the fewer colours in are the ones that I've actually been enjoying more. Um, I'm just using this Obsession Pigment Boost Spray, but you can use anything. You can use a moisturising spray like Mac Fix Plus or Mary Badescu. You can use a setting spray. You can use a priming spray. You can even just use clean water. I'm just going to apply this to sort of the middle section of my eye sort of bleeding into that blue at the edge there So, if any of you um, watching um, and haven't got a YouTube channel but want to try this, then you know by all means recreate it. And if you've got Instagram, please tag me because I'd love to see the looks that you do with it, how you interpret the photo. So again, exactly the same this side, just applying the orange and then fading it off onto the blue and just gently smudging those edges there I do love this slush palette It really is my go-to when it comes to things like this. And now I'm going to pick up my Zodiac palette. Now unfortunately when mine arrived, one of the um, pressed shimmers was actually split so I've had to keep the plastic sheet for it. <clears throat> Leo was uh, in pieces basically. Right, I'm going to go into the Virgo baked shimmer. Now because this is baked it shouldn't actually need to be sprayed. Look at that, and just running that across onto the orange slightly. I do love this BH formula, it's really lovely. Um, I did get a request from one of my gorgeous 4F family to start a Zodiac series on my channel which I will be doing but at the moment I've got quite a few collabs lined up and I've got all my bits that are bought for me for my birthday that I need to do as well so yay lovely and then just for that inner corner there I'm going to go into the Cancer Baked Shadow in this BH Cosmetics. And that can be the yellow part of the sky. And again, this baked formula is so good, you do not need to wet it. A little bit of fallout. Not an issue because I haven't done base yet. But um, if you've not got the Zodiac palette, I got the original Zodiac first and then Hubby got me Zodiac Love for Valentine's Day. If you've not got 
any BH palettes, I would absolutely advise starting with one of the big Zodiac palettes, either the original or this Love Signs one. Um, the original one is more cool toned, which is, I think, quite cool to me. And obviously it was out a long time before this one was. There. I like that. Right, I am going to uh, nip off camera and do my foundation and brows and whatnot. And I'll be back to finish this look off with you. See you instantly. Okay, I am back. Went a little bit ham with the blush today, but never mind. Right, I'm going to go in with a flat topped brush, like so. And I'm still on the Zodiac Love palette, by the way. I'm going to go into, I think, the Sagittarius into the Baked Shadow. Which is nice and deep because I want to pick up on the blue that I used from the Affinity 2 palette, but I want a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of, sh little bit of satin under my eyeball. Well, you can see that is actually the perfect match. So, if you're wanting to do a monochrome, really deep, smoky blue eye. This would work perfectly with the Affinity 2. Such a pretty colour. And then I have this flat top brush, which is a bit chunky. I like a big, I like a chunky. Um, and I'm going to go into the Capricorn. Again, the baked shade, and just run that and smudge that along to soften, to mirror what we've got going on above, and to continue with a little bit of sparkle. Now, with um, shimmers, if you apply them with a blending brush like this, what tends to happen is a lot of the the foiled effect goes and you get left with the base colour usually with a hint of shimmer to it and that's the kind of effect that I want under my eyes because it really does help brighten because as we know um, me and colours in my waterline do not a good combination make and they look fab for about half hour and then my eyes start watering and that's it. It's all gone. Now, highlight wise, I think I will go in with the Ofra Nikki Tutorials in Space Baby because that has got that blue shift to it. This is just a really cheap brush I got off of eBay years ago. I think it's a lip brush actually. Went back to my normal coloured brows rather than doing purple today. Because <clears throat> I didn't want to detract from the look and also there's no purple in the picture so I couldn't use them. I'm really going to be intrigued to see what look Nona comes up with because we've got very different eye shapes as well. So, even if we'd done exactly the same top and bottom, which would be a first, and the odds on that are... I'm not Sheldon, I can't work the odds out on that. But they're high. They'd still look different, just because, by virtue of the fact, our eyes are a different shape. Now, as you know, long-term viewers know I like to continue the highlight just under the <clears throat> tear duct there because for my eye shape that's the most flattering. 
Okay, I'm going to pause you one more time while I finish chucking mascara, uh, found a, uh, yeah. <laughs> while I finish chucking highlighter on, do some mascara, pop a bit of lippy on, sort my hair out, and I'll be back for the final look. I'm back. As you can see, I chucked highlight all over my face. Um, the mascara I use was a Barry M, that's how I roll, and the lippy pull in the orange is the coral fixation from his summer Jeffrey's summer 2018 range so and this is my final look inspired by that photo what do you think how'd I do is it good What you expected, not what you expected. Either way, I really had fun creating this. I love this overall look. I don't think I've teamed orange and blues together before, so that was quite nice. I am so intrigued to see exactly what Nona has done. Um, so, obviously, now I'm going to film the intro for this and then go and edit it so that it's all uploaded ready for when we go live but while you're watching me I'm watching Nona and if you've come here from Nona's channel hi, hello, welcome I uh, hope you enjoyed the mad ramblings of this half Welsh, half Yorkshire ever so slightly cracked down the middle nutty bird basically from the UK uh, who is super pale all year round so yeah um, if you are here from Nona's channel I would love for you to check out a few more of my films and hopefully you'll like them and maybe me enough and want to subscribe and stay with this channel if however you are one of my 4F babies you know what I'm going to say to you, don't you? Once you've liked, commented, shared this film, you need to go over and watch Nona's and see exactly what she's done. See what her look is. Give her some love from the 4F family. Show her that uh, she's not the only person that can be supportive and kind on this platform that we call YouTube. Okay, no idea where that came from. It's 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 half past seven in the morning, folks. Most people are sitting in bed. <coughs> right. Okay, I'm now going to go and film the intro for this. Uh, if you are one of my four F babies, please double check yourself subscribed because YouTube are still unsubscribing people and they are unringing the bell. And they are changing notifications from all notifications to some, which basically means you get none. Now, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.